Welcome back to Great Day Live. Over the years, we've partnered with the Heiser Hearing Institute to talk about all the great work that they do uh, within the hearing impaired community. And recently, a graduate of their program had a big moment on the big stage. I had a chance to talk with Heiser's CEO about that and about how you can help other people in their program. Take a look. Well, if you had a chance to uh, catch the Super Bowl this uh, past weekend, you probably saw a young woman signing on the national broadcast. Her name is Sandra May Frank. Did you know that she just happens to be a graduate from the Heiser Hearing Institute right here in Louisville, Kentucky? And you know what? Now there's a way to support success stories just like her. I went CEO Brett Bachman to talk a little bit more about that, ways to get involved. Also, big uh, event coming up as well, Brett. We do, and we're still, we couldn't be any prouder the, uh, than uh, of Sandra May Frank. She just did an amazing job. I wish that there was more opportunity during the Super Bowl to see the skill that she has to evoke the feeling that the song is doing for those who cannot hear. Uh, when she went here, we were called Louisville Deaf Oral School way back in the day, and uh, she's been highly successful and been able to uh, advocate great for people that are deaf and hard of hearing. Well, she was just a wonderful, I mean, you can't get any better advertisement than that yeah. about what you all do and the success you bring. But for mm -hmm. people that may not be familiar, you all do so much, you know? I mean, talk a little bit about your mission and the ways you guys are growing. Well, you know, uh, as I said, we started in 1948. We've continued to grow during the uh, through the preceding years and such. And during the pandemic, you know, we saw many, many patients. We were around the entire time um, because everybody started realizing how important hearing and communication primarily is to our ability to connect with our fellow, uh, our fellow humans for lack of a better term. And so what we, we've grown from just that one location in the basement to a campus downtown, to multiple locations, to seeing six or 7,000 patients per year, to all, all to address their hearing needs, whether it's cochlear implants or speech, or right now, actually during the uh, time we hired some social workers to help with some navigation and mental health issues that we've noticed amongst both not only our children, but adults that came through the pandemic and had a hard time communicating with their loved ones via Zoom. And, you know, we both, uh, that was a lifesaver during the time that we need it, but we're all done and we're all tired of it. But without your hearing, without the ability to connect through sign or hearing, you can't communicate with the world. And that is one of the most depressing things that I can imagine. You're right. Like the pandemic brought out things. It made us aware, right? Like certain things come up when you're when you're at home doing things like that. Well, you know, we talked about like different ways that that you can get involved with Heiser Hearing Institute. And one of those ways is an event you have coming up called Butterflies in Motion. Tell us about that. This is a really fun event. You know, we've now rescheduled it three times. So third time is the charm. Uh, we had Omicron, then we had Ice Storm, and now we're having it on Thursday. You know, uh, it, it's a great way that we utilize to raise money for our educational programs at the school. We serve so many kids outside of our school as well, and we wouldn't be able to do this without the tremendous community support that we have from both our businesses and individuals. And, you know, with, uh, with attendance being down at this particular nation, what we are trying to do is get out there and let people know, hey, if you feel like you want to see success stories, and you want to be part of something really big and really uh, help out all the kids around here that need our, need our services, then what I'd like you to do is look at what's posted on the screen, and I'm hoping that you guys have it there, um, or you can go to our website, but uh, you can donate and whatever you can give, anything helps. Uh, these kids need a lot, and especially with trying to educate them throughout the pandemic, and, you know, they're having a difficult time, and a lot of the kids, you know, they need to see as well as uh, testing out their hearing, and without being able to lip read and those things, masks made it really difficult on our kids. So we're making up for a lot of, uh, a, a lot of educational opportunities that they need. You better believe I'm going to have the info at the bottom of the screen. Absolutely. We want people. <laughs> I'm like, Absolutely. don't really me to know it. Yes, don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> what, what are some of the great items that you have up for bid? Well, we always have the bourbon. You know, we have some great travel packages. Can't go wrong with that. 
<laughs> I know. I mean, well, this is Kentucky. We yeah. all live on that stuff. It's th that in the the water for the limestone for the horses. But, you know, I think that um, those will also be linked on the side, but we've got some great bourbon packages. We've got some great travel packages. You know, just uh, take a gander at it. If there's something that you need or you want to get for somebody else, uh, f feel free to bid on those. It's a lot of fun to do. You're helping out a great cause and getting a great item, you know, or, you know, if you don't want to get anything because you just got way too much stuff in your garage or closet, then the next thing you can do is just donate. Just give us some money so that we can turn around and give that back to the kids in their education program. Absolutely. We're going to have everybody uh, linked up also and additionally on our web website at greatdaylive.com. Uh, but everybody can check you guys out. You, you're everywhere. You're, you're on Facebook. You're on Instagram, the website. Uh, no excuses. People can find you guys. Absolutely. Anytime they want to get to us or they just pick up the phone. I mean, we do have phones, too, you know, at <laughs> this stage of electronics. <laughs> well, Brett, it's always great catching up. Congratulations and best of luck. Thank you. You have a good day. You too.